in the new political landscape, there was much in Scottish politics that was turned on its head. There was the resurgent Tory vote, 12 Scottish seats shoring up a troubled party down south. And there was Scottish independence, the issue that turned on its axis overnight. Alex Salmond was a high-profile casualty of a voter's reaction against a second referendum. So too another SNP big hitter, Deputy Leader Angus Robertson. Right there. Their party leader had laid out referendum plans only weeks ago. Nicola Sturgeon acknowledged it had been a factor in the loss of 21 seats. Has she now lost all prospect of independence with it? Look, I accept that independence and an independence referendum was a factor. We cannot escape the, the presence of the constitutional uh, question in Scottish politics, even if, if we wanted to. So that, uh, I think, is, is the case. Um, I also, as I've said in, in response to others, I think there were other factors at play in the election yesterday as well, and we will take time to consider them fully. This is my new MP. Yeah. Scottish Labour were up from one to seven seats, and the Liberal Democrats from one to four in Scotland. Like the Conservatives, both benefited from anti-independence sentiment and all say the idea of a referendum should be taken off the table. The Scottish Conservative leader had soft advice on Brexit too for her own UK party leader, exercising newfound muscle in shaping a wounded party post-election. At the same time, we must, in my view, seek to deliver an open Brexit, not a closed one, which puts our country's economic growth first. I am confident that once the dust settles on last night's results, we can rise to that challenge. Nicola Sturgeon has said she will have more to say in due course on matters, independence and referendum. The wider independence movement, which has rallied behind her and her SNP party, will want to hear that it remains on the agenda. Which it will, and the SNP did win more seats in Scotland but there's little encouragement for them in the percentage shares of the vote. Support for unionist parties combined far outstrips backing for the independence minded. In winning an election, Scotland's biggest party might have suffered its biggest defeat. James Matthews, Sky News, Edinburgh.